You want the new craftable dead messenger brought back into Destiny 2 with Season of the Witch? And here's a guide to help you get through the Vox Obscure mission. I'll go over the build and loadout that I personally use, and I was running Hunter at the end of the video, so stick around if you want to see that. But otherwise, let's get right into it. So first off, you're going to want to launch the mission through the Legends tab, and it's right there at the bottom right, Vox Obscura. You can easily just do the normal mode, you don't need to worry about Legend. Normal is going to give you the dead messenger, it's also going to give you season 16 rewards and once you complete it on normal then you can run it on legend to unlock other perks for the weapon when you craft it so once you launch the mission immediately you can pull out your sparrow and pretty much avoid these first ads and just ride to the left and once you get past that first set of ads you just follow the path that i take and it'll take you underneath you're gonna open up this door kill some more ads so once you get to this point and you kill all the ads, you're going to want to get into one of these interceptors because it's the only way to blow up the door. You just shoot the door, it'll blow up. As soon as you shoot the door and blow it up, it's going to start a timer. You have eight minutes for this timer. And the timer is for the length of this entire first part. So you kind of want to be quick with this initial part here, but you'll have quite a bit of time. So it's not too big of a deal. But your objective in this first area is to just kill the tank. And there's also an unstoppable champion that you have to deal with. Once you destroy the tank and the unstoppable, your own tank will drop. And at that point, you get in the tank. And I would deal with that first ship because it can do a lot of damage to your tank. And once you get into the next area, your first objective is to destroy both the enemy tanks. So don't even really worry about anything else. You can use your rockets for things off into the distance, but just keep shooting at those tanks. And once you destroy both those tanks, then you'll have objective icons that pop up. And you got to destroy three of these solar cells. And once you destroy all three, it'll take the shield off of the big cell and then you destroy the big cell and there's three big cells so you got to do this for each one and as soon as you destroy the last one your timer will stop and at this point a new objective will appear you have to shoot the door with your tank shot and there's also an unstoppable at the end up on a bridge and if your tank ever gets destroyed you can always go and summon a new tank so it's not a big deal if your tank gets destroyed just make sure you jump out of it because if you die or if the timer runs out you'll have to restart this whole first encounter but once you kill that unstop and open the door then you're going to get a rally flag banner and this is basically the start of the final boss fight and there's another timer this timer is completely separate so if you wipe anywhere in this encounter it'll reset you at this point so it's not too big of a deal but the final encounter is kind of lengthy but you're given a 15 minute timer which is more than enough time to complete this in this first area there is an unstoppable and there's a lot of ads so just kill all the ads murder the unstoppable with whatever you want there's a lot of objective icons that pop up and essentially you have to go into three different rooms and can kill these specific scions to unlock the main door you want to watch out for the fire on the ground and you can't really jump over them without taking damage so if you're full health it's no problem just go through them but if you're kind of hurt i would just wait until the fire goes down and then cross them but you're going to continue forward you're going to drop down a little hole and then you basically go into all three rooms and you're going to punch a scion who's got a ball around him you get inside the ball and you punch him it's going to take the the boss scion's shield down and then you just kill him and then you interact with the thing on the wall that it tells you to and once you do that with all three rooms the main boss room is going to open up there's a lot of those sentry turrets when you're going to open the boss door up so just make sure you deal with those guys because they can do a lot of damage to you and the boss room isn't too hard to deal with there are a few things you want to watch out for like on the ground there's a ground level which is safe but if you go in those trenches those things can heat up and they do a lot of damage and they can kill you pretty quickly and in the boss fight you're still on that same timer so as long as you get in here with you know like anywhere from i don't know five to ten minutes you'll you'll be fine you can get in here pretty quickly like i got in here with almost 12 minutes and as soon as the boss spawns you can use whatever you want to chunk him down i just ulti him right off the bat hit him with a few rockets and get him down one third of his health he has some different moves he has a move that'll cage you and you just deal with that with your weapon you can shoot the cage and it'll unlock you he has a move that will throw lightning storms on the ground so just watch out for that it won't one shot you but can do some damage and then he has another move where he'll throw up orbs in the air like from that cabal tank strike that boss and the orbs will track to you those ones actually kind of 
hurt but if you have the fire resist in and you can also shoot the orbs to destroy them once you get him down one chunk of his health bar so one third three scions will appear and they're the scions you have to run up and punch and they're always in the same spot there's one on the left there's one in this little crevice in the middle and there's one on the right you're gonna run around punch all three of those after that the boss will be damageable again and then you just shoot them with rockets whatever you can there's a decent amount of ads in here so some type of survivability is nice once you get them down to another third the scions will spawn again and you just rinse and repeat punch the scions get a shield down and then you kill him once he's dead the timer will stop and all the ads will disappear and the encounter is over now you just have to go into the back room interact with the wall and then go interact with the chest you'll get a craftable dead messenger and then you'll typically get like an armor piece and two of the seasonal weapons from season 16 and those can also have a chance of dropping red boxes and, and as far as the dead messenger goes you can take it back to the relic and craft it and then level it up and then if you come in here on legend difficulty which you can do solo but it's definitely a lot easier in a group and once you beat it on legend you'll unlock there's three different perks that you can craft into the weapon so you'll just unlock those while doing it on legend and if you stuck around this far here's a quick look at the build that i ran to fly through it and throughout this mission you're gonna have to deal with a few unstoppable champions so having a unstoppable fusion rifle or a chill clip fusion rifle either will work there's also a lot of fire damage so it's good to have solar damage resists in your chest piece i was rocking the sunshot because it absolutely melts everything in this so just get a kill and it'll blow up anything nearby i was using an apex predator just to deal with quick damage for whenever i stun a champion or the boss at the end He's got a little bit of health, so you need some type of weapon to deal with him. And for my fusion rifle, I was using a Riptide with Chill Clip. Little overkill, because you got unstoppable fusion rifle. And since we're using the Sunshot, I decided to use Solar Blade Barrage, which deals a high, which deals a lot of damage. And don't be afraid to utilize this on champs if you want, because you'll get a Rally Banner, and then you'll probably have your Super before you even fight the final boss. And the Blade Barrage will pretty much take like almost a third of his health bar down, so you'll be able to do the rest of the damage with like a rocket or two for our dodge you should probably have marksman dodge reloading your weapon pairing that with radiant dance machines is going to allow you to keep your sunshot just fully loaded all the time we're not really worried about it for our apex predator because we have reconstruction bipod on it if you don't have an apex predator then you can utilize pretty much any rocket maybe even a grenade launcher if you got a good one we use the lightweight throwing knife just to get radiant from our knife you can use any grenade you don't even really need a healing grenade this is kind of like a oh shit situation you run into but realistically you can use any grenade you want for our aspects we're using knock them down and on your mark for our fragments we're using ember of tempering ember of benevolence ember of solace ember of empyrean and ember of mercy pretty much all these combined they're our sunshot's going to create fire sprites also orbs of power and whenever we pick up a fire sprite it's going to give us benefits like restoration and we're also going to be getting radiant from our knife and it's going to increase our duration and then our solar weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of these so yeah they all just work really well together using the sunshot and for your mods just have like a solar siphon heavy ammo finder is really good because it works with sunshot since it's an exotic it's going to give us heavy ammo quite often if you're using a healing grenade then you definitely use uh, melee mods here to refund stuff but if you're using a dps grenade you should be using grenade mods in here instead like i said in your chest piece it's good to have concussive dampener there's a lot of like fire aoe and there's just straight up a lot of fire damage and then for your exotic radiant dance machines you could even run star eater scales if you want just for more super damage so you can pretty much just super the boss and chunk his health all the way to one third but for radiant dance machines whenever you dodge it's going to pick up nearby orbs of power if you have powerful attraction in and also it can proc reaper so you're getting a lot of orbs of power from solar kills and whenever you dodge you're going to pick up those orbs of power which is going to heal you give you grenade energy and then radiant dance machines allows you to keep dodging pretty much infinitely and it works really well with the sunshot yeah that's a quick overview of the build i was running